How's it going, everyone? Um, yeah, I know it's been a long time since I put any videos up, except for that little birthday one where I was pretty drunk. <laughs> but uh, I've been really fucking busy just doing all sorts of shit. I've been working on this, my Strat, and uh, here you can see I got all the shit off of it. And um, I know the lighting in here isn't very good, but I don't fucking care. I've got the sanding sealer on it. Got I spent days, you know, planing this all out and sanding it down and, um, you know, adding a little bit more contours and um, fixing little dings and stuff. I accidentally put in. When you're working with inferior tools, because I didn't get a, a real nice scraper where it's nice and flush so I ground one out myself and uh, one edge was just a tad bit sharper than the other so I ended up cutting little divots out every once in a while on the guitar which I don't really care I mean to be honest it's not like I'm gonna be selling this guitar and it's not like it was an American made fucking Strat anyway it's a Mexican made so I'm just basically making it my own um, I want it to have kind of a worn look to it so little things and stuff here and there are gonna be fine and uh, so yeah it's been a bit sanding this all down I've had to do it all by hand I don't I mean I have one power sander but it's a big motherfucker and all you can do is just the just the flat surfaces and even that it doesn't take really what you want you're not able to get out the little imperfections that you want to get out so I've been doing all that and uh, finally got the sanding sealer on it so it's pretty much ready to paint now my order of business is to I think I'm gonna have to order some online because I just I want the nitrocellulose in just a spray can and I know there's a couple different you know custom guitar makers and shit that you know market their own um, nitrocellulose lacquer already ready in spray cans and shit um, here I mean they you just don't you, you just can't really find nitrocellulose just laying around in fucking paint shops it's just not it's not something that anyone really uses much anymore. It's an old, old style product that is somewhat inferior. But when it comes to guitars, I really like it because it just it gets that worn kind of weathered look to it, whereas polyurethane doesn't. Plus, it stays nice and thin and lets the wood breathe and lets it do what it needs to do. So. In that sense, I, th I find it's better. If people want that brand new look, like someone like Scott Grove or something, where he likes guitars to, you know, look brand new all the time, then polyurethane's obviously the way to go. But, you know, there's a lot of us out here that like like the uh, that vintage look. I love vintage guitars. Absolutely obsessed with vintage guitars. <laughs> I can't fucking get over it. Uh, I'm looking up shit about them all the time, looking up different models and different guitars and different years and shit and it's an addiction I have for sure but um so yeah that's been one of the things I've been doing I've also been writing a lot of acoustic songs recently and I've got some acoustic songs written that I, I've played for a few people now and I feel like they're gonna be pretty goddamn good once I'm able to at least record you know the the parts that I want because it's hard to hear what I have in my head because you know I have just basic root chords and stuff for the song and then I have all these ideas for you know lead parts and little melodies and shit in there that you know unless I have someone else with me or I have some way to record it I can't really can't really hear exactly what I'm wanting to do and I can't really portray that through a fucking cell phone, <laughs> which is basically my only means of recording right now. So I'm trying to get that all together and figure out what I'm going to do with that. Um, but as soon as I 
am able to get something put together and at least maybe get someone else to play parts with me, I will um, try to put them up for you guys so you can see some of my original acoustic shit, which I haven't really gotten to show a whole lot of people. So that ought to be fun. But that will be coming up hopefully soonish. Um, but hopefully sooner rather than later, this thing is going to be done. Um, all I have left to do is basically give this one light sanding before um, before I coat it. I'll coat it a few times each time between coats. I'll sand it a little bit, you know, get it nice and smooth and blah, 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 you know, the whole process. And then um, I still need to order... I'm going to get the Spurzel, Spurzel locking tuner, Spurzel, whatever, I don't fucking everyone calls it different. I'm going to get those locking tuners and put them on because I got the Planet Waves auto trim to, um, locking tuners and they're, they're great, but the dude sent me them with one of the tuners doesn't have the lock for it, the little lock mechanism, and I can't find anywhere where I can just get that little lock mechanism, so I'm kind of fucked on that front. Plus, they're black, and I kind of changed my mind about what I'm going to do with this guitar. I'm going to make this guitar white now, instead of, uh, like, either a black or... I don't know really what I was wanting to do. It was going to be, like, a darker color. I thought about maybe, like, a sunburst, but that's way too much fucking work for, you know, just some home project. So, I think I might just make this some sort of off-white... Seeing as how, you know, my new pick guard, it's kind of an aged white with the Fender noiseless pickups and stuff, the single coils. And um, I got the maple neck and everything, maple fretboard. So I think it'll look better like that. So I'm going to put um, uh, the, uh, I was thinking about burnished nickel, but I don't know. I might just get the satin tuners of the Spurcell, but they're like fucking 80 bucks, so it's been kind of waiting on that. Got a few other little things here and there, but it's not anything detrimental to it, but I um, thought I'd give it a little quick update. I'm going to try to uh, you know, put up a few songs and shit here and there, because I haven't been doing that for a long time. I've just been off doing my thing. I haven't really been thinking about YouTube or anything, so... Sorry to all my fans and stuff, but and all my haters. I know it's hard for you guys to not have anyone to hate on while I'm, you know, out living life. But I'll try to come back for you guys, so it'll make it easier on you. <laughs> um, so yeah, that's about it. Other than that, I think I might be switching my neck pickup on my Schecter. With that Duncan design pickup, I might switch it out with my Duncan JB for the neck, just so I can, because it's a baritone, I want kind of a tighter, uh, more of a treble bite to that pickup, so I figure a bridge pickup would work good, and I might do that. I'm not sure, I'm not positive, but that's a possibility. So, just little projects here and there, that's about all I'm doing, but um, I'll try to put up some music for you guys. And uh, try to work on my own music too, so you guys can hear some of that. And uh, yeah, rock on, guys. Peace out. <laughs>